Megan Dow here with Allergy Reality Kitchen. Today we are learning how to cut a rotisserie chicken, but also get the most meat out of your, your rotisserie chickens for your recipes. And we make a lot of recipes here at Allergy Reality, Reality Kitchen with the rotisserie chicken. It's a great convenience item. I love to buy it at Costco. You can get the biggest and most flavorful ones there, and they're the cheapest, but you can also find them at other markets as well. So here we go. Okay, so today we're gonna learn about how to cut the chicken. So this is a rotisserie chicken. What you wanna do is just take your knife and you're gonna cut the skin right here. And you can see there's a little cavity. And basically you're just gonna cut down and rotisserie chickens are really kind of um, gentle so you can really just pull it off. And you're gonna pull off the drumstick and the thigh so it comes right off. So that's one piece. And you just do it on the other side so I just cut the skin kind of see where my thigh is and you're gonna pull it right off and it comes off really nicely in one spot okay so that is that now what I do is I take off the wings and some people like to cut the wing tips off and then they cut at the joint I just kind of literally take that off where the joint is and it comes Again, it comes off really easily. And then I do it on the other side. And then this is the part where people, um, they kind of get spooked. So there's a backbone right here along the chicken and I like to take off the skin. If you want to keep the skin on, you're more than welcome to do this with the skin on, but I like to kind of see where my two breasts are and I just take the skin off with my hands. And then with either a knife or with your hands, I literally, sometimes you could just run your fingers like this along the breastbone. And you're just going to take the meat and separate it from that breastbone. And pull it right off. And it comes off in one nice piece. So I can take my knife too and just run directly down and it comes off like that. Okay, and then the other side I'm gonna do with my hands, just like that, I'm gonna run it down. And you have your other breast. So this is the part where I pick these little pieces off that didn't come off with my hands, and this is great for chicken salad or tacos. Um, lots of different recipes that we're going to show you, but that's all good meat. And then the back side of the chicken, a lot of people don't know, there's these things called the oyster. And the oyster is dark meat. They're right here. You can kind of see these little pieces of meat. And these are delicious. And they come right off just like that. And they're really moist and flavorful. So you can use that in pick chicken or you can just add that to whatever you're making. And then your carcass is great. Don't throw this out. You want to use it for stocks. Just throw it in a pot with water and some celery, onion, carrot, and herbs, and some peppercorns. And just boil it for about four hours, and it'll make some great chicken stock. And then you can freeze it and, and use it for your soups and stews and stuff like that. So there it is, our chicken all in our pieces, and we're ready to make a meal.